Well, this isn't a video I expected to make. Typically, I will cover individual videos and plan to talk on topics in general, but I had encountered a user on Twitter yesterday. I'm not sure what I'll call this video, but no matter how clickbaity I make it, it'll still undersell what this user and my experience represents. What experience you may ask? Well, say you came across a video on YouTube that worshipped Hitler and promoted white supremacy, literally talking of Aryan people as better, does that break toes? What if I called a certain race dung people or described them as terrorists or inherently violent? I mean, if this were a country like Germany or Britain then it would not be legal, but I guess Twitter thinks this is perfectly acceptable now. Also, because all bigotry is linked, naturally we throw homophobia and transphobia in there because idiots never have just one bad idea. Oh, also anti-Semitism, we can't forget that. If I told the average person on the streets of my country, they would think I'm describing a parody of a bigot, well, if this account is a troll then it's a damn committed one, and honestly, when you're this committed, what's the difference between you and the real thing? I don't even want to show you screenshots because I'm pretty sure YouTube's toes would be far stricter on me than Twitter's is on this, well, you can imagine the kinds of words I have for them. I can give you their username and it if you want to report them. Word of warning though, even after making multiple reports, and giving additional context in my report, yea for 140 characters, it didn't amount to anything, so good luck getting results. Of course, this isn't to say Twitter is entirely without bans, they love to exorcise the left, especially if they criticize the new owner, Elon Musk, thanks Elon. You are definitely helping your case on not being a neo-Nazi, this isn't making it more obvious whatsoever. If his idiocy was only to the extent of being a fool who disabled tiny essential services like text verification then it would be fine, but he's going to get people killed. A place where these people are allowed to exist unhindered has been shown to increase terrorism, maybe he wants that. YouTube has a similar issue, though not as obvious, and not as big. Here you must pay for advertisement before you can break the rules, and those who respond to your video are not under the same protection so if the system detects hate speech, goodbye critics, oh wait, Twitter does have something similar to this. Your hate may not be given any less leeway if you don't pay for Twitter Blue, but your reach is reduced, or maybe it's the other way around where those who pay are promoted, either way, pay to win level bullshit. The conclusion is to just find a new Twitter. I'll continue using it until I'm banned but sites I'm looking into are co-host, Hive Social, and Mastodon. I don't know yet if any of these are good, and I would appreciate hearing about more so please do tell me if there's anything else. Until then, laters.